Sales Funnel Explained. So what is the sales funnel and how does it work? Allow me to show you in this video and give you some demonstrations about how the flow works. First and foremost, I do want to give a quick shout out to HubSpot. They have a great little definition here that I want to just add a little bit more to. So a sales funnel mirrors the path your prospects take to become a customer. It describes discrete stages of the customer journey from first touch to close deal. Now, obviously when you're online, there's not going to be any handshaking or touching going on, but just kind of giving you the idea from first click to closing the deal. And this is an example where you start off with prospects, turns into lead qualification, intent, and of course, closing the sale. Now, here's an actual great example of how a sales funnel can look in the online world. Okay, so all traffic is going to start off. Keep in mind, sales funnels can be set up differently, but this is just going to be a basic one that you see very often. So whether they're coming from YouTube, Google, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, email, wherever it may be, they click on a link and they can get taken to the first section in this specific sales funnel, which is going to be the opt-in page. In case you're not familiar with one of these, they're also called a squeeze page. And the main goal of here is to collect someone's email address. Many times it's going to be exchanged for a gift, you know, like a free gift free training, or sometimes it's just going to be, you know, entering your email to see this video to show you how to get big benefit, whatever it's going to be. After opting in, they will get emails in the background, maybe, you know, right away. And then maybe, you know, every one day, every two days, it's really going to be different. But from there, they can go to the sales page, right? A sales funnel where you're looking to make a sale. So remember, we talked about with our prospects, they go here. This is our lead generation with interest, of course. So anyone that's raised their hand and said, hey, I want more of that, they're going to opt in and get taken to the sales page. So this is where they can say, watch that video, whether it be a video sales letter, or it could be a long sales letter, however it's going to be. But the main objective here is going to make a sale or just simply click on an add to cart button or buy now button, which of course will then allow them to make a sale after that. For example, if on this page they clicked add to cart, they would next go to the order page, which you're familiar with, of course, enter in your details, maybe where you live, maybe PayPal, maybe Stripe, whatever it may be. Okay, continuing on from there. Many times, in case you've never seen it in a sales funnel, there can be upsells. It's kind of like when you go to get a car, it's like, hey, would you like leather seats with that? that could be an upsell. For example, if you bought a case study or just say a training when it comes to Facebook ads, how to get them up and running, how to set them up, an upsell could be here is a done for you case study where I showed you how to turn, I don't know, $20,000 into $30,000 over the shoulder, I'll show you my campaign, so on and so forth. That could be an uh, example of an upsell. Okay, so whatever it's going to be, that would be there. And last but not least, we have the download. So this is where they're going to get access to whatever it is they purchase, whether it's just the original order on the sales page or that and the OTO, whatever it's going to be. So, so you can see here how this specific sales funnel can go from click to purchase, you know, very quickly. And many times the someone isn't going to purchase here and that's completely fine. Many times they'd say like one to 2% is a good conversion rate. So out of every hundred people who opt in, one, maybe two will buy, depending on how good the offer is and the copywriting, of course. That's why there's going to be email follow-ups. We can always send them back to the sales page if they haven't purchased. But all in all, that's going to be my very quick explanation of a sales funnel. In my opinion, it's a group of landing pages put together in order to help you make a sale. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you'd like to create some sales funnels for yourself, I will leave a link in the description. And if you click that, you can check out one of the best sales funnel builders around. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.